Had a couple of runs that didn't go our way, but that doesn't mean that this one can't be amazing. Hmm. I am in sort of a boss swampy mood, though. Good lord, that far left. What in... Wow. Four elites, huh? I'm in a bit of a boss swappy mood. What do we get? Aha! I knew it! I knew it! I peeked at uh, Zeknar's stream. Early. Was it earlier today or yesterday? He had an insane P-Box swap with three equilibriums. So I had a feeling that if I clicked boss swap on defect, I might get something similar. And we're looking at double skim, recycle, rainbow multicast. This is nuts. This is nuts. Definitely something we can break the game with. You like drawing cards? Oh yeah. Very spicy. We don't have any block? Not really. We have cool headed and dual cast, which can actually do quite a bit. Um. Hmm. So elites, maybe not so much. Upgrades and removes, oh yes. Oh yes. Also, this deck would love a meteor strike, unironically, just to recycle it. I might be recycling that multicast a fair bit. Uh, let's do two combats, then two events. Hit the shop. Or we can maybe bank this way if we feel confident. We'll see. Is there a win count currently for the streak? Uh, let's see. What does kills report at this time? We've done 38 successful ironclad runs since we started uh, focusing on clad. Played a little bit of the other characters, although my, my win rate with the other characters has been very low, uh, as to be expected when I only play those characters if I have... Um, no cares to give, so to speak. Is Sweeping Beam my only attack? Yes. Interesting. Um, hmm. We skim? By that multicast, I'm guaranteed to kill one of them. Actually, no, that's not true. I could hit them each once. They go to one and two. Oh dear. Uh, I guess sweeping beam, zap, multicast guaranteed kills one of them. I also get to draw one card. Get recycle. So I should probably skim now because we're three out of four chance to draw rainbow. Then I can recycle rainbow and I have two energy. I can do some stuff with that. Although that would only get me back to two energy, which is where I'm at right now. So I guess I just zap multicast, huh? Because there's the one in four chance I do brick on the skim and then we just lose. Deck won't perform really well until we upgrade at least one of these cards. We really have to get, I think, the Recycle upgraded first. Is Dual Cast better? Yes, we can get them both if I skim into Recycle, Rainbow, Zap, Dual Cast. You're right. But that does have the one in four chance of bricking, as mentioned. Hmm. So it's one in four to... I guess it's a 50-50, right? Because if, if we bottom... There are four cards in the draw pile, and if the bottom card is either dual cast or rainbow, this won't work. <laughs> Seems like high risk, high reward, when I could just take the kill on one of them to get out of this fight. Let's just do that. 
Would have gotten away with it, though. So, yes, it was correct to skim there with that draw order, anyway. Essence of Darkness is a very good first potion. Storm is kind of hilarious. Streamline is really... Good. Actually, no. Streamline is obscene here. Let me click on that. Good lord. We can draw this card so many times. Yeah, it's a tasty streamline. That'll kill elites easy. Easy peasy. But what about this whole blocking thing that we have to do in the meantime? What kind of enemies that we have to deal with? I guess it helps with them, too. Let's see what cool headed gives me. Probably just dual cast next. We do get streamline. Interesting. Was I meant to recycle multicast before I drew? Maybe. Probably, actually. Yeah, that was multi that was recycle on multicast before drawing. Because then we could still dual cast. Uh this is a pretty good hand though. We can kill this enemy with Streamline, take 10, or we can dual cast the Frost Orb, still have one energy. Kind of unclear. I should probably just get rid of multicast entirely. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of this, play this. I'll take the 10, because I don't think we're going to get out of the fight with less than that happening, realistically. Don't want to recycle rainbow, do I? Yes, I do. That's three energy, then I can sweeping beam, which draws dual headed. Which hopefully draws dual cast, although I guess if dual cast is on the bottom, we're a little sad. Yeah. We'll play streamline then. Hmm. This deck is hard to play. Definitely needs upgrades. Definitely needs to remove that, maybe? Hmm. Dual cast is too good right now. I think I'd rather just upgrade dual cast. Do I want a Tempest? A zero cost, an X cost card. Another good target for recycle? I'm going to take this. Claw's also a thing, but, you know. Ah, oh my, okay. So we're going to go the not fighting elites route. We are super taking two random upgrades, because guess what? Every card in the deck is a good upgrade, except for maybe machine learning. Skim plus, Tempest plus, I like it. Hmm. I do agree, actually. Yeah, I think I do agree. Thank you, Snake, for the money. Enough to buy a relic, like a bag of prep? Oh, there is a meteor strike? Oh my god, yes. Oh, let's go. Excellent. And probably that charged battery, too, so I have one actual block card that also contributes to the energy plan. It's a really good block card. Cool. Um, and as much as upgrades are nice, I am super resting here. Super duper resting. So we will continue to not draw any block, most hands. Still need to upgrade Recycle. Hopefully I can do that here. Although, we'll see. My other option is to go... Yeah, no rest sites that way. Uh-oh. Mushrooms. Three of them? Concerning. Could take another junk card, a parasite, and heal a bunch. Love that option. It's not terrible, though. We don't mind having that parasite for a while. We can always recycle it, too. Pretty likely to take a bunch of damage in the fight. Einshoff with the 19 months. Happy holidays. Yeah, the health is nice going into double elites here. I actually really do like... And we have a bunch of combats, too. Hmm. Pretty compelled to eat here. Normally, I, I don't even consider that option, but it does it does do some stuff for us in this position. Let's do it. Let's, let's eat. 
You give in to the unnatural desire to eat. As you consume mushroom after mushroom, you feel yourself entering into a daze and pass out. As you awake, you feel very odd. You heal 25% of your health, but you also get infected. There's a computer virus in those mushrooms. Hey, good job, church battery. I like it. Auto shields. Now that's a powerful block card. Get in here. Okay, that should stop the hemorrhaging of hit points. And the ink bottle will let us draw even more cards. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Cool headed will not wake you up. Cool. All right, all right. Get to play machine learning here. Let's just go machine learning, charge battery, put the dark orb into the front. Yes. All we need is enemies who sleep for two to three turns, and this deck will be perfect. Totally perfect. Am I recycling Tempest or playing it? I'm going to recycle it. Hmm. Neat. Just going to go Auto Shield's Meteor Strike then. Beautiful. Double my energy. Then draw a bazillion cards. Actually, play the streamline before you draw a bazillion cards. Thank you. Play Meteor Strike again. Just because we can. Then draw even more cards. Then full block this jump. Draw into the Meteor Strike a third time. Play it a third time. Okay, I think I broke the game. Let's just play more cards for fun. Isn't this fun? We. Delete that. Delete yourself. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that's a good example of why Pandora's Box is the best thing to get from Meow. Out of all of the possibilities, this is by far the strongest. Because you can just instantly have a game-winning deck like this. Even one with a curse in it. Easy peasy. And now we get to be really picky. We don't need to add very many cards to this deck at all, as it is now functioning and functioning very well. We're going to upgrade the Recycle to enable so many shenanigans to occur. Now, this is an energy-generating card. We get two more energy if we target an X-Cost card. Hmm. I block. Oh, perfect. All right, see you later, Meteor Strike. I've got stuff to do. Just go dual cast zap here. Keep the Tempest. We've already done quite a bit of damage. Multicast for Frost. 
Probably just gonna play Charge Battery and Streamline, although getting the machine learning down is pretty important, actually. Hmm. So we'll do that then. Take seven here. Got health to spare, thanks to the parasite. And now I suppose we'll blap with the Tempest here. The Dark Orb will hit the middle one, so we probably kill the middle one here. Unless I want to try to hold out for dual cast. Maybe that's better. That means no Tempesting, though? Doesn't seem worth it. But I maybe want to just YOLO the Tempest because the middle one is statistically very likely to die? Let's do it. Freaking got him. Good fight. Score a regal pillow if ever we need even more hit points. We have a way to get him. Thunderstrike. Could be pretty spicy, actually. Kind of hilarious. Um, probably we should skip, though. Probably. Would I take shard here? Yes, this is definitely a position where having fun is highly encouraged. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this Thunderstrike. There's only one strike in this deck. Meteor Strike. Wow, they really went for the double attack, huh? And all of my blocks in the discard. Hmm. Looks like we're getting hit then. Although, actually, hold on. Skim even more. Recycle the streamline. Draw another card. Aha! Simply draw all of our cards to get back to the block cards. Easy peasy. Like I said, this deck is quite hard to play. I think the answer is always just draw cards, though. Self-repair wouldn't be unwelcome. We get offered another claw instead. But thank you. It's going to be pretty hard to want uh, to add any unupgraded card to this deck at this point. It'll be quite a challenge to desire them. So we're mostly going to be looking for cards next act, not this act. It zip zapped. Show me recycle. Perfect. Don't think so. We have no need for capacitor at this time. We have need for more upgrades. Uh, based on how things are already going, I imagine I just want to upgrade the other skim and draw even more cards. Rather than doing anything like upgrading our attacks. Full-headed upgrade is also acceptable. But I think we just upgrade this other skim. And start to loop all of our cards. Although against Hexagos, we might struggle with that a bit more. I think that's probably all the more reason just to do it. So yeah, I'll upgrade the other skim. If we feel like we needed help here, we could employ the Essence of Darkness. I'm not sure that we do. Not play this Meteor Strike. Do I just recycle it? Just 
cycle it and play Tempest for a lot. Seems okay. Unless we're thinking we have to play it. Seems tough to do. Seems very tough to do. Well, I may also want to employ the Essence of Darkness. Not going to be much better in other fights, I suppose. Let's just do that. Make sure we get through this fight, no problem. Let's go battery learning. Get rid of Ascender's Bane. We can recycle a lot more cards next turn. At least that's the hope. The next two cards are both skim. Okay, lose auto shields. Cool headed. Lose. Zap. Should be playing Streamline here. Seems cool headed. Streamline. Gim. Green line. Lose dual cast. Him. Green line. Recycle. Let's get rid of the parasite now. And then end the turn. I'll lose my whole deck doing that. I'll keep some of the cards though. Uh, so that I can do this. Wait, this is only 120 damage, yeah? Ah. There's got to be a way here. Perfect. Excellent. Double machine learning. You get a second rainbow, just for... Another exhaust target, maybe? I actually really like another Meteor Strike. Let's take the second Machine Learning, improve our base draw. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Let's do that. Would make picking up a heat sinks pretty good too. And I was wondering, uh, I was just thinking actually, empty cage would be amazing here so that I could dunk the parasite and one of our starter cards. I guess we could lose the sweeping beam now. Let's do that. Definitely a situation where two removes is very strong. More energy per turn would also definitely be appreciated actually. The slaver's color is pretty substantial during elite fights, especially because then we can recycle an X-Cost card and play the Meteor Strike, which can really kick things off. 40 Pixels with a full year of support. You're heckin' welcome for the entertainment and the good vibes, both. Hmm. Actually, the more I think about it, the more Slaver's Color is really good here. And I can easily achieve two removes from shops if I need them. Okay, let's go energy. Energy, card draw, card draw and energy. The more we unite these two things together, the more powerful we'll become. Are we strong enough to fight the Burning Elite? Probably. But I feel like there are draw orders that could be really bad. Gambler's Brew makes us a lot safer. I do think I want events more than... Fights, for the most part, I'm looking at a path that looks something like this for Act 2. Get a couple of upgrades, get a couple of elites. Actually choose here. Go 
I'll sell for two upgrades here. Upgrades that we want at the moment include Cool Headed. I still think Dual Cast would be a really good upgrade. Improving the number on charge battery or auto shields isn't a terrible idea either. Probably better charge battery as we might play that more than once per turn for bigger block values when required. Although if we can cycle our cards that well, we're probably just winning the fight. Ow. Self-repair would be a good addition. Some way to heal ourselves would be welcome, as we can't always full block. We do at least have the Regal Pillow if we need it. Cycle this thin skim. Thin skim. Here we go. Exhaust that. Eight times eighteen is super duper gonna kill this nerd. Uh, although, how much damage do I need here? Fifty-four, five x, six x. Can definitely play two cards first. Yeah, five. Set up our uh, ink bottle a little bit there. Consume would give us focus in exchange for orb slots. That's actually kind of cool. Cool headed. Now, if we're looking to do big tempests or use frost to block, this is an excellent card and does have that seal of approval, the free upgrade. I'll take it, actually. I'll take it. A reasonable fee of all of our gold, not on your lives. I'll fight you, nerds. You hear me? I'm fighting. I'm going to exhaust multicast before I skim. Oh, we did get it. Okay, sweet. Meteor Strike your face. Then I can play Tempest. Then I can play Zap. Then I can play Dual Cast. Now I have six energy again. Get him. Out of here. Although this turn looks like it could have gone a little bit better for us. That's probably what the Swift Potion's for. That looks more like it. Just need to find our recycle now. Any minute now. Surely it's not the very bottom card. Smiley face. Dang it. All right, well, that's fine. Not gonna use the Gambler's Brew. We're gonna need that for the Elite Fight. I'll just take the punish. So it goes sometimes. So it goes. See, am I playing the Meteor Strike, or am I getting rid of the Meteor Strike? It's a little, a little bit unclear here. Consume came upgraded, and we did not invest an upgrade in it. In fact, we only picked it because it was upgraded. Certainly, I'm not actually able to kill Romeo without playing the Meteor Strike, though. Is the problem I see. That does mean taking 10 more damage, though. Which I don't like. We only block for 5. Times 2. Alright, that worked out. That worked out. Good. Cycle this we can just dual cast. Okay, sweet. Sweet. That wasn't too bad. 
beam cell's not horrible, but it doesn't seem like it's required here. Transform a card. Let us transform our zap into something else here. We get Amplify, allowing us to duplicate a power. Amplify with the machine learnings is intriguing. Not sure if it's good, but it's intriguing. Sure is nice to draw seven cards per turn. Thank you, Red Mask. Multicast? Let's get rid of Streamline first. X card draws a card no matter what it is. I guess it's... Hmm... Definitely need just a couple removes here. That's what I'm seeing. Almost want a Gambler's Brew here, but like I said, it's for the Elite. It's for the Elite. Uh, Rainbow is the only thing that actually blocks here, yeah. Bummer. When do I ever consider Apparitions on Clad? Uh, they're quite good if you already have Corruption. They're very good with Corruption. I just Tempest for nine. No, surely we can get the Dark Orb in front and then multicast it. Is that going to be enough, though? We do 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. We actually still take a little bit. But I can redraw into Recycle. Exhaust Tempest. There we go. Okay. It's all coming together. Boot sequence would make turn one a lot less threatening for this deck. I really like that. Would go well with upgrading one or more machine learnings, too. Blocks for 11. That's pretty good. Reprogram is intriguing. Potentially a way to scale for this deck. Although we have consume, I don't think I want to go both directions. Somewhat eccentric, thanks for the 11 months of support. I don't think we're going to get enough cards for aggregate to be worth it. But let's take a boot thingy. Let's take a boot thingy. How much do upgrades actually matter here? Quite a bit. Have to go through two more combats? I don't want to do that. Ah, remove a card from your deck. Be gone, Parasite. Perfect, right before the Elite here. Let's do it. Let's put this Slaver's Color to work. Four base energy per turn means we can do some very spicy things. Excellent. We also have that turn one Red Mask. Oh, Red Mask boot sequence. I didn't talk about that, but... Two great tastes that taste great together. This evokes for eight. I'm already drawing this hand next turn. I'm just going to multicast my Frost here to block. Maybe should have played Tempest, though. Food for thought. Both of those. Full 
full block and energy, an extra draw next turn, and yes, get rid of this. Okay, now we're set up for next turn. Perfect. I can actually play the Meteor Strike outright. Tempting. Better than not doing that, surely. Although it should be something like Auto Shields, Recycle, Amplify, then play Meteor Strike. Then we can do Rainbow. Surge Battery. Full block with dual casts. Still have more energy for next turn. And as usual, we're drawing seven here. Um, good time to recycle consume. No, we skim. Recycle meteor strike. The 15 times 9. Not gonna be enough, huh? It's only 105, right? Wait, no. I can't math. 15 times 9 is way more than that. It's 135, yes? That sounds right. So that is a kill. Yeah, 135, they say. Calculator reports the same. Kill it! Swing boots. We could ignore paths when choosing the next room to travel to. Oh my. Spicy. Oh, spicy. Cool. I'll probably put those to use. We can use all three charges for two bonus elites this act. So this could be essentially two other relics. We can have a third machine learning. I think that's actually too many. We've already got an Amplify. I don't need that many card draws, surely. These boots were made for warping. And that's just what they'll do. Uh, I could warp for an extra upgrade. It's not really an extra upgrade, though. Trading this upgrade for this upgrade. And I could go here. No, I don't like that as much as going here and here. That means skipping this shop, which I'm cool with because we got the remove at the event. Cool. Uh oh. Surplant. Can we recycle? Yes. Good. Okay, so we're going to draw all of that next turn currently. That's a very good draw. Let's leave the ink bottle on 9 here for next turn. we got to block 24. The auto shields makes that pretty reasonable. I guess auto shields charge battery alone is not enough. We should start with auto shields. Multicast. Hmm. If I go charge battery and then tempest, we can evoke the frost orb, get a little bit more. This would have been a good turn for the speed potion, I suppose. I'm currently I'm blocking 15, 20, so we're four shorts. I guess we still save most of the health it would have saved. Alternately, we're only taking four, so whatever. And multicast can kill quite easily here. You do get a potion, but it's a lousy potion. A potion of capacity. Whatevs. No need for that. Do we upgrade the cool-headed, or do I upgrade the dual cast? I really like upgrading this dual cast. Making it zero cost. Some fun shenanigans we can do with that. Yeah, including playing Meteor Strike and then immediately dual casting to get energy back. 
Multicast is a good upgrade, too. I like Potion, uh, potion Belt as a relic here. It means we can hold a little bit more power in our pants. And a Gremlin Leader that's attacking on turn one is always an easy Gremlin Leader, so... So I'm pretty happy with this, too. There's another time to maybe consider Speed Potion. <clears throat> Normal style boot sequence, it's actually kind of um, generic. It's like the defects version of impervious art, just like standing there. Hmm. Certainly not as good. Debating uh, recycling our multicast here. I think I'm going to. Then I can Tempest for eight. That might even kill one of them. Little rainbow first, of course. Yeah, that ends up being a full block, actually. That's great. Hard to do better than that. I like playing the streamline here. Get that nice and discounted. We draw our double skims next turn. They seem to be glued together. Can be a bit annoying at times. Okay, we're guaranteed to draw a Meteor Strike if I play the skin. So I can recycle it then. Let's do that. Made a slight mistake, though. It's all good. Again, those skims are glued together. Streamline. Ooh, hologram. Put any card from the discard pile into our hand, such as Recycle, or Streamline, or Meteor Strike. It really doesn't matter what we're breaking the game with. And I said I wanted to fight more elites, right? Let's do it. We've even got the ink bottle charge for our maximum possible advantage here. Let's fight the slavers now. Looking like a gambler's brew hand to me here. Oh, yeah. That's what we've been saving that for. For sure. That's a little bit better. Like, still seeing the skims stuck together. Uh, but the good news is we get to play Meteor Strike next turn. So I think it worked out. Another fight where I think the streamline will do good work, although I'm probably going to play Rainbow instead. So we can evoke the Frost block a little bit more. Although, actually, if I Rainbow Tempest, we're full blocking. That's too much. I don't want to block exactly 24. I want to take a little bit here. Hmm. Guess we go Rainbow Multicast Tempest then. So that I don't evoke the Frost. Of course it's on the bottom. I can still play it, though. Hmm. I 
won't have any energy left. Hologram multicast. Oh, that'll work. Hologram multicast. Recycle the multicast. Then I have energy. Here we go. Sweeping beam. Meteor strike. Cool headed. Gim. Amp the machine learning. Gim. Hollow amp the machine learning? No, that's ridiculous. Uh, hollow the. Hmm. To block 21 here. I consume, we're doing 16. Yeah, that'll do it. Consume hollow is adequate here. And I could dual cast again. If I do that, I can't play the Meteor Strike that well. I'm just gonna not think. Although I could play Machine Learning Streamline here, right? Have to recycle to play Meteor Strike. That's fine. I get one more card. You know, it is worth it. It is worth it. Although I draw one card. It's fine. It's a good card. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. Somehow I'm still not weak. Not sure why you didn't do that, sir, but you made a big mistake. Bonk. Bonk again. Really good Slaver's Fight. Get the Blood Vial healing us at the start of each combat. Don't think this deck wants a Scrape or a Go for the Eyes. What it wants is to fight another Elite. Gremlin Leader, let's go. Hmm. Is Tempest for maximum? I think so. That may or may not kill any minions. Let's hope it, that it's going to. Nope. Hmm. Concerning. Uh-oh. I might have died. Double concerning. Nope, this one first. We just have to hope a lightning orb hits this guy. Otherwise, we are, I believe, dead. Playing Recycle draws a card. I guess the only one that's helpful is Dual Cast. Let's roll for it. Okay, we don't die. It's not instantly, anyway. Meteor Strike was on the bottom because of course it is. It's okay, we can play it anyway. More than once, even. That's awesome. Give me a million cards next turn, thanks. Oh, no, you don't. Bad Gremlin Leader. Hmm. Oh, 
I'll take the 24 energy special. Worst. All right, we're not dead. That's pretty cool, actually. Now we get to rest up with the Regal Pillow, and we get a lot more health thanks to the pair. We also get a Seek. Very nice card. Four oh four gold not found. Instead of resting, we could go to a shop here, which is not a half bad idea. Recycling an X cost card is just double your energy. That's right. Pretty powerful. It's, it's part of why we took the Tempest in the first place. Yeah, I'm just going to sleep here. Uh, and if you thought we were done fighting elites, nope. Let's make this a five elite act two with another rematch against the slavers. Can't play Meteor Strike here, though. consume though zip zap Hologram Meteor Strike and recycle it. We need you to die, though. That's what the lightning is for. Don't worry. We have no other X cost cards remaining. Hmm. We can uh, seek the recycle if we wish here. Maybe killing this guy is acceptable. Might just be the case. Let's do that. Just draw cards. Cards galore. Okay. I don't mind being vulnerable if we win on this turn. Which we should be able to do something approaching. Winning. Something that looks like winning if you squint hard enough. this. Resembles winning, but is not technically. like the Taskmaster puts too many cards in the deck. Yeah, kind of. On A20, I mean, compared to Ascension Zero, where this guy only adds one card per turn, it is a little absurd. But just, in my mind, just forces some prioritizing with your uh, targeting on High Ascension. Wondering about a reinforced body here. It's another X-cost card, which is definitely attractive. It's also a really good block card. Let's take it. Let's take it. And I'm probably going to upgrade Seek here. Yeah, let's do that. So I can Seek. 
Meteor Strike and Recycle, for example. Ooh, bad turn one, though. I think I've learned my lesson with the Tempest. I'm not going to play it because I want to recycle it later. Bad turn, then. All right, free turn for you, Collector. Hope you enjoy it. 35 damage incoming. We can full block that. Is that what I want to do? Not exactly. Will Recycling Meteor Strike get us through this fight, or do we have to play it? Probably we need to play it. Let's recycle the Streamline instead. Do the following. Let's get rid of Rainbow then. Play the other machine learning right now. It's worth it. Okay, that gets us set up pretty quick. Finally, Meteor Strike arrives on cue. Good job, Meteor Strike. You did it. we don't need anymore. All of them leaving. Don't need this anymore either. Play this just for Ink Bottle here. Okay. Okay. This is going well. We want to multicast for more energy. We can just keep doing that in a loop, right? Is that an infinite? Hmm. I feel like that might be infinite. With two skims. Then we just play the skim. Get rid of one more card. Play skim. Here we go. Meteor strike. Multicast. Skim. Oh my lord, I made a meteor strike infinite. Glorious. Also an infinite involving an X cost card, which is really cool. It's also very slow. Uh, although one wonders, what do I need this Meteor Strike for? Actually, yeah, we have another way to go. Let me just uh, double my energy one more time here. I think 99 is the maximum, right? Or is it 999? Find out. We can go over 100. All right, that's plenty. That's 880 damage. Get wrecked, nerds. The Blappening. Oh, my. Seems like Christmas came early. Holy moly. Where's my fanfare? Hello? One more, please.
Is this not easier with Snekawai? Deeply unclear, actually. The Meteor Strike being random cost surely makes things simpler. It's actually a pretty good Sacred Bark, too, right? We, if we just want to continue as we are with double effectiveness potions, we can break the late game with that. The other cards being random cost definitely could hurt us. Notably the Recycle and the Seek and such. But if I can loop the multicasts, I don't think it matters. And the extra card draw is even more powerful. The extra card draw is not a waste. If we play both machine learnings, we're up to nine base draw per turn. Let's do it. I really don't think it's going to matter that our cards are random cost because we just demonstrated we have infinite energy. Actually infinite energy. Oh, I have to go here. Boo. Oh no, I don't get any shops. My money! No. Question mark, save me. Wait, I, oh no, I used the wing boots. Bah. Could have saved the last charge. Just seek the machine learnings. Auto shields. Get rid of this. So now we're drawing 10 cards per turn. The full 10. Meteor Strike is free. And actually, Recycle <clears throat> doesn't matter that much because the cards that we're recycling are also random costs. So actually, the odds that Recycle is lower cost than the highest cost junk card in the hand is quite low. So that's not an issue either. Hmm. Seems like this will go quite well, actually. There's a skim in the discard pile, right? So yeah, what if what if the skim is three costs? Like I have ninety energy. Or well, maybe sixty. Yeah, it's it's plenty. Gotta make sure I don't play any cards until it's actually done ticking up, because you can glitch it if you're not careful there. Guess I'll play sweeping beam. It's funny. Cycle the multicast, 92 energy. Play Meteor Strike. I think the card draw is a good thing from the Sneko Eye. It was much, much worse, much worse uh, Meteor Strike there, fusion. Who needs it? Double Orb Walkers? Sure, I'll fight you nerds. I'm invincible. Literally invulnerable. Just you watch. Uh oh. That might not be invulnerable. Hmm. What to do in this predicament? 
Recycle unavailable. Probably just start with a Distilled Chaos, see what happens. Hmm. Being attacked for 16. We probably want machine learning reinforced. Perfect. 10 cards, please. Just Meteor Strike. Excellent. Go Tempest Multicast. Probably consume Hologram Skim, or I can hologram the Meteor Strike. I could just want the Meteor Strike. Not enough to kill, unfortunately. So we do have to take a hit here. Make you weak. Let's take one more energy next turn. Sure. So we take 14 damage. Not too bad. Pretty tough encounter overall. Burns already. Four in that hand, and now four more. Spooky. Definitely spooky. Uh, get rid of Amplify. Multicast. Let's see if we do this properly. Maybe not. Well, actually, yes. Where's the last cost of Meteor Strike? Two. Take Streamline Hologram. Okay. Good fight. Get the boat thingy. 18 block on the start of our third turn. Not too bad. I don't think we want to stack here. Nor a compile driver. How's it going, Mini Q? Hope you also have a great holiday season. I'm certainly planning on it. Nine cards, please. Perfect. Well, maybe not perfect. These are all too expensive to play, though. Heck. And what a attack we're facing, too. That's a really unfortunate draw, actually. Dang. What to do about this? I guess we get to draw one by playing a card. So let's recycle the three cost sweeping beam. Let's see what we get here. Tempest. Okay, so I can play Meteor Strike and then Tempest to get energy. Perfect. There was no need to panic. Four energy here. So I can block 32, or I can play Seek. We get dual cast, which will put us to six energy. Even better. And we can also skim if we wish. I do wish. Pretty sure I wish, anyway. Although I'll draw exactly these four cards. Maybe I don't wish. Maybe I just wish to block for uh, 48. What's the incoming damage here? 22? 31? Well, yeah, all of that. 
What is full block? Thanks. Please don't kill me. Get free block and more energy this turn. Seems like a good turn. Perfect. Good turn. Can we finish this one, though? That's the question. Probably. Looks like probably. Get rid of auto shields. And then draw more cards. Bonk. Set up the ink bottle. Probably doesn't matter, but, you know, it could. Excellent fight. Yoink. With Sneko Eye, we want every hologram we could find. Whether they're upgraded or not. Doesn't matter. How do we feel about colorless cards? There's a couple that could matter. Apotheosis. Would I take Mayhem? Probably not. Let's see what the options are, though. Discovery is curious. Enlightenment with Sneko Eye is interesting. Panic Button can be a very good block. I take Hand Agreed, except we have no way to spend our money, apparently. You, thanks for the six months of support. Thank you, thank you. With my favorite hoodies. They're definitely comfy. Or purity? Purity, yes. Exhaust cards in our hand. That can be pretty good, too. Alright. I'll give purity a try. Might backfire, but... It also might not. Don't overcomplicate it. Just kill it. Ooh, not quite, huh? Got him. Who's next? How do I have no potions? What's happening here? This is a disaster. Potions? Hello? Who's got potions? Uh, I'm not going to multicast. Let's just go machine learning, maybe boot sequence. Or I could take six on purpose to draw two more cards. Going into Repto's big turn. I'm going to do... Yeah, we'll full block. We'll full block. Not even that big a turn. That ain't nothing. Oof, three cost hologram, three cost meteor strike. Still worth playing though, huh? Still worth playing. For Amp Machine Learning? Yeah, let's just get stuff down. G 
good stuff. Good stuff. Hmm. All the stuff we could ever hope for. Get rid of these. Okay. Could have played Reinforce for Ink Bottle, but otherwise that's a great turn. Oh yeah. So we go Bonk. Then we multicast. Then we multicast again. Rick and AD with a 62 months. That is a lot of months. More than five years. Holy moly. And then we give him a zip zap. 44 out of four. Ain't bad, as they say. And you're out of here. Give me a frozen egg, upgrading any powers I might find. Like this ball lightning, I guess. Don't want those cards. Vision in another world without Snekawai might have been pretty sweet, but no good here. Any really, really important upgrades? Yeah, why aren't our multicasts upgraded? Also hologram. Also recall. Apotheosis, where are you? Jawworms, no. A little bit of damage for puzzle might be a really good idea here. Auto shields charge battery full blocks. That's too much. What about auto shields hologram? That's also exactly full block. So it's either auto shields cool head or charge battery hologram. Let's go charge battery hologram. The additional energy next turn also. That way we draw the full 10 here. Which in theory will be good. In practice, a little unclear. Hmm. Still no Meteor Strike, huh? I can block for 32, though. Take two. Anything better that I could do? Not really. Could hologram skim and draw one more card, but does that achieve anything? I don't think so. Play these for Ink Bottle. We do kind of flounder until we get that first Meteor Strike down. But once it happens, oh boy. Life gets real easy for us. This does 8 times 20? Pretty sure that's enough. He's more than eight. Eleven times twenty. Get him. BG nerds. Oceans are arriving. Cards are not. Relics are not. So we're stuck on this path now. Hello, Nemesis. Welcome to your doom. In the form of. One defect. So you can't seek the meteor strike, but what? But what? Hmm. Guess I'll just do this.
Hello. One more try. And if I could reshuffle the deck, that'd be really good. Cost me too much. I'll take your burns. Why not? Multicast and recycle it? Let's do that. Give me even more energy, please. Get rid of these. How dare you add those in the first place? Okay, second multicast is here. If I can multicast 8 times 23, that's plenty. GG. Courier. Okay, we can actually spend all of our money. That's pretty cool. And we're offered a, one, a Thunderstrike is hilarious here. Uh, two, a Defragment could provide some benefit to the orbs. Huh. That's actually a really funny Thunderstrike. It does help against heart, is what I'm thinking. Although only if I can do a big Tempest. I'm going to take it. I'm actually going to take it. Now we're cooking. Second Meteor Strike. Now we are much more likely to draw it early in the fight, so we can actually do stuff immediately, which is very valuable. Plan next week was to chill and watch streams. I'll probably do some of that next week. But yeah, I am very much looking forward to the time off myself here. Dual cast, consume, Tempest. Oh no, multicast, Tempest. Hey, this Thunderstrike's going to get used. Use. Used? It's going to get strong in this fight. Is it possible to use Meteor Strike without Sneko? Says Steve the Mime. It is. It is. Uh, I recommend it with Turbo or Recycle or Aggregate as initial energy sources. Once you can play Meteor Strike the first time, it'll give you enough energy back that you can keep playing it more times. So even though it is unwieldy at first, uh, it's easily worth it. Easily worth it. So you're telling me I can multicast this, go to 8 energy. Then I can hologram Thunderstrike, which deals 7 times 17 damage. I like it. So it's 165. Each time we play it. But why so expensive? Shoot, I was meant to hologram first. 
Oh well. Guess I'll just Thunderstrike twice. That seems fine. And they said Thunderstrike wouldn't do anything. Four energy. Excellent. It laps, sir. I think killing this enemy should give a special relic. I think it'd be cool if you got something. Maybe they always drop a ghost in a jar or something. It'd be cool if you got some kind of additional reward for getting the kill. Still no potions. Where are my potions? Twitch chat. There is an achievement that you get. That's true. Though it doesn't quite feel like enough, perhaps. Do a lot of multicasting, but to skim first. There we are. Let the energy begin. Pretty good turn, especially with double meteor strike in the draw pile. Under strike, go. Okay, there's a good potion and another hologram. Here we go. Here we go. It's all coming together. A smiling mask. Dang it. All right, we get one final upgrade here. Upgrading a hologram sure seems like a good idea to me. Although again, upgrading the multicasts could also really help us get started here on energy. I'm gonna do a hologram. Having two or more upgraded holograms with a Sneko deck, there's always a chance you form an infinite loop of two zero cost holograms, which is always fun when it happens. The Awaken One scales with powers played by us. We don't do a lot of that, so it should be a pretty easy fight overall. At least that's the hope. Dual cast is in the draw pile, so I can do Meteor Strike. Dual cast Meteor Strike if I want to. I like that idea. Oh, I can hologram the first one, actually, even better. Just keep striking. Oh yeah, also, even if we don't have... 
an infinite loop of holograms, uh, simply having access to basically unlimited energy means that... We can loop them. We can loop them. Although blocking might be a struggle. It's a good time for block pot. No, it's fine. So machine learning is not getting played in this fight, as they'll only make the bird angry. some cards here. Hand is full. Whoops. Get rid of dual cast. Appears that we are looping. Good uh, fight. And, and just to restate, once again, even if the skims cost three every time, this still makes energy, which is pretty cool. Proper Sneko infinite loop. Even more energy, please. set up ink bottle for the next fight, I guess. Pretty easy to do, after all. Who's next? Gonu and Deka. Time Eater decides not to show up because he doesn't want to die to 800 lightning orbs being channeled all at the same time. And you know what? I respect that decision, Time Eater. Just take the L, bow out with your dignity intact. You certainly won't keep it if we decide to fight. Use this reinforced body. Hello, skim. Keep drawing cards. Keep drawing cards. Keep drawing cards. Seek the cards that you want to draw. No, don't seek that, though. Seek purity. Hologram. There we go. Destroy this, this, and this. Play this. Keep drawing cards. Oh, 
follow the zero cost skim. You can use the other skim to to reshuffle the discard pile while the zero cost skim is in my hand. So we keep the skim zero cost every time I hologram it. OP. Seems OP. Zero cost meteor strike also OP. The Zappening. Vitamus Prime with the five months. Thanks for keeping it cozy. You're going to be shocked when you see how this fight ends. Yes, this is turn one, by the way. <laughs> GG. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of all of this energy flowing through your veins. You charge your energy meter to its maximum, dealing 2,436 damage. Have I been here before? Doing a boss turn one should also be an achievement it is the you are nothing achievement in case you're not joking at me <laughs> we upgrade the third hologram or we upgrade one of our multicast here I don't think I want to upgrade Purity. It's one of these two. Upgrade the Hologram. I want more blocking flexibility. Especially because I can use Ancient Pot, Speed Pot, and the Heart Fight to have uh, 11 block per Hologram. Without Prepare, you're way too late here. Although there are more upgraded powers behind the Self Repair. We are going to lose the Streamline. We have Courier, so everything I buy replaces with something else. Behind Art of War, there's Calipers and Pocket Watch. Okay, well, I broke the game. Um, buy a potion? Buy the other speed potion. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I broke the game. Calipers would be good here. Probably. Uh-oh. Let's see. Meteor Strike into Tempest makes five energy. Which is enough to hollow Meteor Strike. Furious. And then I can just, what, seek two holograms and just keep doing that? Hologram Meteor Strike, Hologram Meteor Strike. Over and over and over again. Seems pretty okay. Although, will it actually? Hold on. Play three, get three orbs. Tempest channels two, go to five energy. Play Meteor Strike, go to 4 plus 1. So yeah, then I can Hologram Meteor Strike again. Yes, 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 this works. I think I counted correctly. Oh wait, no, I can't because we have... No energy to play Seek, except I draw Cool Headed. And that changes things. So I probably want to seek for skim recycle or something. Let's do that. Excellent. Oh my good lord. Oh my good lord. We did it. We, we are there. We're there. We can infinitely hologram now. And then keep all the block with the calipers. So we just win this fight. 
easy peasy. I'm just gonna press six a bunch of times. Wait, no. Now it's seven. Be careful. Oh, this is also unlimited draw with ink bottle, by the way. So I'm just gonna draw cards until my hand is full. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> How dare Ink Bottle ruin my infinite by drawing a zero cost skim? How dare it? How dare it do that? Keep doing this stuff. Correct, sir. Pocket watch just counting the cards here. Still turn one, by the way. I will kill you with infinite thunder strikes. Close fight. You almost had me there. Almost got me. Good, good fight. I'm pretty sure Pocket Watch easily goes over 100. <laughs> Blurp. Get a boot thingy. Excellent. Even more block for me. A potion I don't want and cards I don't want. All right. Let us, let us stomp all over the heart with this very, very silly deck of cards. We're going to go Speed Potion. Speed Potion, then drink the Ancient Potion. That's the secret. Gotta do it last. 21 block, please. Hmm. Seek is three costs. Might just be machine learning, machine learning purity here. Or we could even pass entirely, although the pocket watch won't matter much here. I'm actually not sure why I bought that thing. Gonna be honest. Don't want to draw a rainbow again, though. Or the purity. Seems fine. So we get all of that dex for only one artifact charge. Although we still become vulnerable. Seems fine. Got some really lucky draws here. Speedy, thanks so much for the 13 months of support. Hmm. Would like for Recycle to be here now. Yeah, we can just hologram loop. We want block. to build your own reinforced body, essentially. And 
then take skim, or do I know? Let's recycle the other status here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Play this. This does nothing. Dude, that might have cost me Art of War. Turn's not that good. At least not initially, anyway. Hmm. Guess we could just reinforce here. Good enough. Keep the Tempest for now. Keep the Tempest for now. Get to keep a lot of this block. Now we're talking. Get rid of this ridiculous cool headed. Here we go. We do want a superpowered Tempest, so let's set that up now. Let's just do that. So I'm going to delete some more cards first. Tempest for 36. The Blorpening. And that means we're now looking at a damage cap every single time we play Thunderstrike. Perfect. Simply perfect. Let's hologram multicast, recycle it. Play Thunderstrike. And now for the blockening. Nefeli, thanks for 200 bits. DJ Banor, indeed, what a what an amazing cap off to our year of Spire. Couldn't ask for a more silly run. Holy moly. Alright, Black Pot. Be free. Bloop. Let's delete all of the non Thunderstrike cards. We no longer need this Meteor Strike or this Meteor Strike. Or this Reinforced Body. Or this Multicast. Or this Hologram. For this other hologram. For this dual cast. For this amplify. For this skid. I don't need this skim either. We have only one card, and it's the only card that matters. Thunderstrike! BG. 
GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.